A squint is a misalignment of the eyes. It's extremely common actually, much more so than people realise. It can be either that somebody has an eye that's turned in or turned out. Um, actually, there are lots of variations of a squint. Some people uh, in adulthood may acquire a squint, and that's actually quite a different entity to people who are born with a squint or maybe have had it since childhood. The thing that surprises me is how many people in adulthood don't even realise that you can have a squint, perhaps that you've had for a very long time, treated. So, you know, what's life like for someone who does have a squint? So if you have an acquired squint, it's a new position for your eyes to be in for your brain. So people experience double vision, and that can actually have a tremendous impact on people's lives. For instance, your sense of balance is wrong, you won't be able to do activities that you take for granted, like driving a car. It can be really very intrusive. Those patients are usually quite um, quick to come forward and really want something done about it. People who've perhaps had a squint all their lives may not know any different to the position that their eyes are in. And sometimes even other healthcare professionals, even other doctors, don't realise that you can have treatment for that squint. What I've realised is actually it's not the size of the squint that can have the impact on people's lives. There are two kind of categories of people with a very long-standing squint. Some people aren't bothered about it and I don't see them. Other people can be extremely debilitated by their squint. It can affect how they interact with other people, your day-to-day -day life, because if you're in a room full of lots of people, you, your colleagues, your friends, your family may not know who you're talking to. And you can't hide something that's in your face, particularly your eyes, because they're just the root of so much of our communication. The other thing can be actually just how it makes you feel. It may be that other people don't really notice it, but it's something that holds you back and affects your self-esteem and your confidence. Um, and it's something that you live with on a day-to-day -day basis and can't get away from. So if you are one of those people that has a squint and you're interested in pursuing treatment for that, it's certainly something that we can help with at Clinica London. The assessment is detailed and it's tailored to you and your squint and your preferences. The first thing that happens is you'll come in and be assessed by one of our orthoptists who is a highly trained healthcare professional in the assessment of vision and squints. So they'll look at the size of your squint, how the two eyes work together, how your eye moves. And then you see me, and again we look at the health of the eye, make sure everything is as it should be, see where we are and where you'd like to go. Usually, for a lot of people, surgery is an option, and that can be a very successful option. It's a short procedure, usually done under general anaesthetic, although sometimes we might choose to do what we call an adjustment after surgery which is straightforward and most patients are actually completely fine with having that done.